Libra, you're up. <laughs> Welcome to your 1111 portal reading. Just uh, in case you have not uh, watched the collective reading that I did, um, I want to give you kind of a, a, a brief what this portal is about. Um, the 1111 portal is for new beginnings. When you see 1111 or 111 or 222, it means that opportunity, opportunities are coming in. Opportunity, opportunities are on its way to you. Stay in the present moment so you don't miss out on these opportunities, okay? Watch your thoughts, very important. Um, this is 1111 is awakening time for the whole of humanity in its consciousness. When our consciousness rises, that means our level of awareness rises, our senses rises as well. Pay close attention to your intuitive powers, your intuitive hits, okay? It's highly likely you will receive new messages and ideas as well. Now is the time to follow your heart and gut feeling more than ever, okay? Um, that pull, that God calling, that intuition, okay? That is um, a very strong message for you to hop on the wave, okay? Um, if you say to yourself, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I feel like, uh, I feel like, I feel like doing it. This is the time to follow that feeling, less doubt, less fear, less negativity. So today, a good example of that would be today my daughter saw a bunch of eights, for, which represents abundance. And then she initially got a hit saying, oh, I, I, I should play the lotto. And it wouldn't stop leaving her, it was following her around. And then she closed her eyes and a bunch of numbers came to her. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these, uh, this pull, this intuitive hit. I, I was uh, strongly guided to do this this uh, 1111 portal for the entire all the signs today and here I am following the wave hopping on the wave following my intuition and that's what this message is about it is about you taking action when when you feel a calling to do so towards anything in your life okay and not hesitate okay time to realize your truth and your dreams you are supported, supported by the universe, by the collective. Okay, the universe wants to meet you, match you, and catch you. Okay, so, but it's requiring co-creation. It's requiring you taking action. Go for your goals and your dreams right now. It is a time to take action on those dreams. The universe will respond to your actions immediately. Stay focused. Stay grounded. Stay in the present moment. What you focus on one thing at a time is what's going to expand for you. Okay, 1111 as a portal of all all of your thoughts are manifesting really fast so what you think is what is going to come into your reality really fast so make sure that you are conscious and aware of your thoughts be very aware of your thoughts the conscious one and the subconscious thoughts if there if there's any challenges that comes about just let it pass don't focus on the challenge okay what again energy goes where attention flows especially during these portals it's a great time right now to manifest love and abundance. So let's see what your message is. I'm going to start with, um, I was guided to use the Sacred Forest Oracle for all the signs. I don't know, I just this, this deck just feels very mystical and magical and majestic. I'm also going to use the Fairies deck. All right, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Split the deck, we have Retreat. And this is a winter season here. So if you're guided to pull your energy back from rest to unplug from the mass consciousness, this is the time to do that. All right. What else for Libra here? It could have acceptance. There's something that we're needing to accept and let go of. Okay. Uh, and heal. Acceptance uh, comes with forgiveness and focus. This is coming. This, every time I split the deck, this focus energy is coming out for every single sign that I've done so far. So it, like I said in the beginning, it's time to just make sure that you're focused right now and grounded and focus on one thing at a time. Don't let any trivial, mundane life matters distract you from your goals at this time. What is the message for Libra, for the 1111 portal for Libra? Spirit. I got two here. We have expansion. We have Courage there, Aspen Spirit. We have Expansion and Uncertainty. So there's something that you're needing to decide on. There's something you're uncertain about. Could be regarding this expansion. The Spirit Guardian of Summer. Let me go ahead and read that. The messages are really, really short. So if you guys are new, welcome to the family. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Thank you for liking, for sharing, and for subscribing. I appreciate you guys, uh, every single person that does. It helps the message to reach those that need it. It helps our community to grow. We have here expansion. 
Work with passion. Don't hold back. Take positive steps in the direction of your dreams now, like I said in the beginning, and now in order to reap the harvest later. Your hard work will result in abundance bounty and beauty celebrate enjoy the fruits of your labor so you've been working really hard libra <laughs> to achieve a goal success prosperity financial possibly uh this is reminding me of the seven of pentacles card where you plant the seeds right um financial expansion financial freedom right working towards your retirement this is talking about a lot of expansion in your life so things are increasing because you have been focused on your dreams and on your goals that's beautiful right if that's what you've been wanting this is you know it's, it's happening for you but it's taking the, the time that it takes something significant could come to fruition for you in the summer um thicket of thorns uncertainty let's see what this is about here timing is everything let go of the struggle. You'll gain great rewards. Yeah, there's something that you could be potentially uncertain about. So let's see. Let's see what will show up here when it comes to that. So there's a lot. Maybe it could be regarding this hard work. Regarding You don't know if it's going to come to fruition for you. You know how long it's going to take. Spirit said detach yourself from um, the outcome of this. Okay. And then we have courage. That's number three. There's something you're needing to have courage about. And we have protection here. You're protected. You're safe. It probably has to, to do something with a, with a, something you're uncertain about regarding a leap of faith, perhaps. The energy of your inner spiritual warrior is ready to step forward to face any challenges or blockages in life. Be willing to accept help and be fearless. All right. Let's see how, else, how this is going to play out. I'm going to get what is it that you're needing to also what you're needing to surrender, surrender your ego. Some of these things here that could be coming up for you could be ego driven, All right? The need here to the materialism, perhaps superficiality, right? That putting, putting that over on top of and over love could be a thing as well. Let's see. I heard vanity. What is it that, that Libra needs to uh, surrender? Yeah, surrender to effortless. Stop, stop pushing so hard. The art, and that's what this courage was talking about and the uncertainty. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. If you're a feminine energy especially, it is important that you work on uh, your divine feminine energy of allowing, of surrendering, of acceptance. We saw that acceptance card um, a flow, allowing, surrendering, accepting, flowing so you can receive. OK, so you can be more in alignment with the universe. The more you, you try to force something, it's like that's not your door. Right. And the more you try to force something, the more that thing eludes you, the more that thing runs from you, the more it's like you're in chasing energy, which means you're telling the universe that you don't have it, which means you're sending a signal out of lack. Okay, so um, give me one more that Libra needs to surrender to during the 11-11 portal. Miracles. Surrender to miracles. And again, to rest and sleep, to retreat, to listen to your body. Your body is going to tell you when it's time to rest. Okay, to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. And stay open to the miracles. This is crown chakra. The miracles is crown shock. We have a miracle coming in. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real, especially now at this time. Uh, there's a need to to heal the feminine energy here of effortlessness. Stopping, right? Stop, stop pushing so hard. Uh, let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So there needs to be a balance between spirituality and practicality here. It's looking like. For you, needing to go within and connect with your soul, uh, soul solitude, so that um, you can hear your guidance, so you can receive the downloads, the activations, the healing that you need, okay? So you can have a nice balance between ebb and flow, giving and receiving. Let's see what else. For Libra, split the deck, we have 
I knew it. It was something to do with the leap of faith. The uncertainty here that uh, regarding some kind of new beginning for you. That you're needing to have the courage here to step into. And that's what's going to create expansion in your life. There's an uncertainty around it. Who else got a card of needing to take a chance on something? I, don't know, I think it was Taurus. Maybe. You may have it in your chart. So there's a need to take a leap of faith on something here. Speaking of Taurus, <laughs> focus a lot on the material world, superficiality here on your success and on your abundance, needing to connect more with spirit, I'm getting. Very strong. This is crown chakra energy. A lot of messages wants to be delivered to you in your sleep. Give me here for Libra, a message for Libra for the 1111 portal. Message for Libra for the 1111 portal. We have the High Priestess, again, needing to go within here. That came out sideways. So there's a need here to listen to your intuition more, your inner knowing. You're being heavily guided, okay? And you have an inner knowing. You're into, and that's, that's the thing. When we're so busy doing, 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 pushing, 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 striving, it, it kind of, um, the noise in our minds as well, it kind of, um, it causes our intuitive messages, our intuitive hits to kind of get lost. Get lost underneath the noise of our thoughts and of the mind. So it's like it's hard to hear your inner voice, your inner guidance. So it's hard to trust. That's why you're being guided to slow down and to stop and to go into stillness at this time. And pray from the heart, right? And so that you can really pay attention here to what your intuition is. Guys, guiding you to really, look, effortless, guiding you to really go with the flow here. Okay, when it comes to you're being also guided to leave behind a situation that's not emotionally fulfilling to you that no longer serves you. Okay, it could be a comfort zone of yours could be and that's what you're uncertain about you have a new beginning you have an opportunity here to to, to you're being really, really there's still more things that needs to be revealed to you. The answer regarding this uncertainty is going to come from within. You may be praying for a miracle right now as well. When it comes to expansion in your life, I feel like there's so much more, more to come. There's so much that you're still needing to grow and expand in. But because of, you know, whatever uncertainty or whatever fear with this courage card here of coming out of your comfort zone, you know, it's like I, with this, with this striving, with this pushing, I'm getting hamster wheel. Yeah, there's a huge decision that you're needing to make on something that you're confused about, okay? But your intuition, Page of Cups, is guiding you really strongly. There's something that you need to make your mind up on. You're, but you're, there's a lot of fantasy, a lot of daydreaming, a lot of mixed messages and mixed signals. It's because you perhaps need to ground your energy and go within so you can get your answers. What else for Libra? This 1111 portal message for Libra. Courage. Strength card. You could have Leo in your chart or, or know somebody that has this. So we already have two major arcana. So major life events, major changes are taking place for you right now. That is requiring for you to have a lot of courage, a lot of confidence, a lot of willpower, a lot of discipline, and even compassion and gentleness for yourself. There is some resistance here that I'm getting in your energy. Okay? So... You're needing to have, facing this direction, right? You're needing to have courage here to follow your intuition. Whatever your intuition is guiding you to do, this is going to be a part of your growth, your evolution, the ascension of your soul. The next step in your journey, your timeline is for you to take action on this intuitive hit that you're getting. Yeah, it's time to make a judgment call. Give me one more for Libra. You could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be, or they may have it in their chart. Give me one more for Libra for the 1111 portal. We have the Five of Cups, so and the Page of Swords. So there is something here, Libra, that from the past, there's something here that you probably haven't talked about or need to talk about or need to see from a different perspective here with the Page of Swords from your past, okay. There's some sadness, there's some regret, probably some shame, some guilt, some remorse, some healing that still needs to be done. 
Um, or this could be somebody in your energy that feels this way, okay? There could be some things that are coming up for you that are being revealed to you here. And, and, oh, okay, I get it. I see. Uh, that's probably why the, the pushing, 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 the doing, doing, doing. Because if we take a minute to sit still here for a second, right, this, all of this could come up to the surface here and pain. The only way to heal pain is with pain. We can only feel it, to feel it, to heal it, okay? So, um, there is some kind of regret. There's a tower moment here regarding your family. You could have went through some kind of divorce or some kind of separation. Yeah, there's still some things here that we haven't fully healed from, from a tower moment, okay? But with the Page of Swords here is gather information. There's uh, resources everywhere. Get curious about... Be honest with yourself and with your feelings, okay? Get curious about the things that are coming up for you right now. Ask yourself those important questions, right? Yeah, ask yourself those important questions. There are books, there are audiobooks, there are podcasts, there are meditations, there are resources in the palm of our hands that we can utilize to help us to heal from, from the things that we need to heal from. Okay, it could even be an apology it could even be some kind of communication to heal something with a family member, a friend, a lover, or a loved one. Okay, this right here needs to be looked at. This needs to be looked at. This regret. Okay, you could be feeling regret over an opportunity you didn't take. Because uh, the Five of Cups comes after the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is that energy of a missed opportunity. Okay. So you might think that something is too late. There's got to be, you know, um, a need here to look at, to look at not assuming, not jumping to conclusions, asking the questions, communicating, right? Because you just never know. Five of Cups, clarify this. You need, this is a mindset. And right now it's important that you work through this during this portal. We manifest with our emotions. And right now, this is somebody that's in loss, in grief, in a very low vibrational energy of feeling somewhat helpless, lack of faith, hope. You're needing to have to muster up the inner strength here. The inner strength to... Um, there's an uncertainty. There's something you don't know. We saw the, the, the page of swords that you need to ask questions about. You're uncertain about something here. And it may be creating some sadness within you. Tell me about this Five of Cups. You're not happy where you are. We saw the Eight of Cups. Something isn't making you happy. Tell me about this Five of Cups. For Libra. Knight of Swords. It could be some kind of... Uh, Communi some kind of, a, I would say, aggressive communication or you may have said something that you didn't mean or somebody said somebody was, I would say, mean or bully or, you know, it, it just could be that the, the circumstances and the people in your life. I see hurt people hurt people, right? I was just actually telling my son this today that a misery loves company, you know, so it's like, this, this Knight of Swords is an energy of somebody that lashes out. That lashes out as a defense mechanism. As a, I wouldn't say bully, but it's like they lash out and they say things they don't mean and then they regret it later kind of thing. It's impulsive. A converse, it's an impulsive type of communication that's a, considering that it's... Um, Clarifying the five, of, the five of Cups. It's impulsive. It's impulsive action. That uh, led to some kind of regret. Okay. And it could have something to do with a connection. Move, somebody you live with. A marriage. A partnership here. We have the Queen of Wands. That could be you. Or somebody in your energy. Okay. Here. Could be a very important uh, conversation with, you know. That you're needing to have with somebody. Something that you need to get off of your chest, I'm getting. You're holding on to here really tightly. 
but you're almost there when it comes to this journey so don't give up and don't let go push through this has everything to do with your spiritual strengths there's there's definitely some things that you're needing to let go of with the four of pentacles okay this has everything to do with your you overcome this is your battle year you've been wounded here it is time for healing and we can only do that in rest and in meditation so i do feel like uh there's something here that you're uncertain about when it comes to whatever is bothering you and it's hurting you and that you need to communicate it to get your answers we saw the page of the page of swords that's also you know um an energy of somebody that that's delayed communication needs to get something that needs to get they, they they're looking for answers they're looking for answers and um it's it, there's like there needs there's a need to have courage here to to confront this the elephant in the room to confront what needs to be confronted to get whatever you need to get off of your chest very strong on that uh let me get archangel michael message i'm also going to use the fairies we have someone new is coming into your life it's an important relationship that's going to be important for your healing. They may have already come into your life. Don't give up on love. This might have something to do with love. A relationship that you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear away for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. So there's a need for forgiveness here of the past. You need There's a, a doing, 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 and, and, and a not sitting with the stuff that we need to sit with to face and heal. Okay, it's like the, if I keep busy, if I keep busy, I, I, I can't think about this. I can't feel this, right? Uh, it's distracting, numbing, escaping, avoiding the things we need to face, that we need to have the courage and the strength to face so we can have emotional freedom, so we can really truly free ourselves. I do have in the community board a forgiveness affirmations, detachment affirmations as well. Archangel Michael, what message do you have for Libra? Trust in divine purpose and be the real you. Be your authentic self. People can see right through it. And the, people can see right through the mask. Your greatest strength, your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Don't let codependency is that fear of loss. When it comes to setting boundaries and expressing yourself. Trust in divine purpose, okay? Uh, and be honest with yourself as well. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. The strength card represents growth. Whatever it is that you need to muster up the inner strength to face has everything to do with your personal growth and personal development. Whether it's whatever this is, this pain that we need to talk about that we need to face, Right, whatever uncertainty, whatever conversation that still needs to be had. This is this could be guilt as well. You could be stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in, but guilt is preventing you from walking away and leaving. Don't do anything. Don't make your decisions based on guilt. And it, it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to that you can be true to others. Let me get you a message here from the fortune deck. What else for Libra? Spirit for this 1111 portal. That was for Libra for the 1111 portal. Yeah, you're going through a major ending and completion of a, of a cycle here. I feel like you could be tired of tired of the, I guess, fighting of the fight or whatever, however way that, you know, shows up for you. What else for Libra? For 1111 portal. The world, there it is. I, split, I can't make this stuff up. I split the deck, there it was, and now it jumped. I love it when, I love it when these miracles happen, right? Uh, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. It's, it's time for expansion, which means we need to let go of what no longer, what's holding us back, what's holding us down, what no longer fits, what no longer serves our life. You know, it, it's time for that right now, right? It's time for us to open ourselves up, okay, to, to a new beginning. But for that, there's some things that we got to make room for internally, emotionally, that we got to let go of. There are some things that it needs to go. It's ending, final nail in the coffin. 
be careful and be aware, be take care of your health right now. Natural endings abound in your life, okay? Whatever this is, it's time to heal from it that ended, right? So you can move on and move forward with your life. Let me get a message from the fairies for you. And then we're going to get a postcard from Spirit and Romance Angels. Fairies. What else for Libra for the 1111 portal? Friendship. Lean on your inner circle. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So anyone else that wants to poke holes in your boat, wants to give you negative advice, or plant seeds of doubt in you, those are the ones you should possibly avoid. The people that are going to inspire you and encourage you and motivate you, right? And, and um, assist you on your journey. Those are the ones that, uh, you know, if you pray for spirit to... to bring into your life these conscious friendships these conscious awakened soul connections here right soul family and soul tribe open yourself up to, to meet new people to receive them we have precious time the fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time be mindful not to waste other people's time exactly there you, you should really Think about the, the situations, the connections, the friendships, the, the jobs, you know, that you're in, right? What, are you in it for the right reasons, okay? Or, or are you um, settling, right? Settling. Are you wasting your time and other people's time because you feel guilt of walking away from situations that no longer serve you? Could you be misleading these people, right? And making them think they have some some form of a future with you, but that you're unhappy. That's not what you want, but you refuse to walk away from it because you're not sure if you should or shouldn't. You're meanwhile you're unhappy there. Something to think about. Why are you there? Could there be codependency there? Attachment, comfort zone, fear of being alone, fear of not being able to, you know, uh, meet someone new, right? So um, it's definitely something to look at and something to think about, whether it's you or somebody in your energy. Let's see. What else? Uh, spirit. Postcards from Spirit. Speak your truth. If you want to attract in authentic friendships and authentic people in your life, take off the mask and be yourself. Release your fears. What else uh, for Libra? Dear you, you're in such a good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. Dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going. But if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are your, what are your dominant thoughts now? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? Do you have clarity? You, you don't, right? Have clarity right now. Uncertainty. Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Again, needing to balance spirituality and practicality. Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Stop trying so hard. Stop pushing so hard. Get rid of the negative energy now. Resentments be gone. Forgiveness and love enter. Please, forgiveness and love enter. Please, this resentment that you have with whatever... You haven't really fully addressed or healed yet from the past is what's creating blockages in your life, delays in your manifestation, and slowing down what you truly deserve and are worthy of from coming into your life. You can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now, in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge cheering section over here? 
So you can. Seize the opportunity. Seize the moment. Take action. Speak up for yourself and speak your truth. Let me get you a, a message for love. And then we'll wrap. All right, spirit. What is the guidance for Libra when it comes to love? What is your guidance for Libra when it comes to love? What is the message for Libra when it comes to love? Sun, moon. Let, again, with the friendship, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others when it comes to... Be, I would be careful with uh, who you go to for counsel, okay? Use your intuition, your discernment. There could be, you know, it's important that you connect with um, the people that will give you unbiased, that will give you, you know, uh, unbiased counsel, right? That will be giving you support, emotional support. Could be your angels that you need to connect with, okay? Because not every single one of your friends want you to be happy. Uh, there's a lot of people that will give advice based on their own biases, their own experiences, their own, uh, you know, perspective and perception based from their own, you know, 3D, right, per experiences, okay? So I will go to like a healer, a spiritual a coach, a life coach, a counselor, a spiritual teacher, a spiritual healer, a light worker. If you're watching this reading, you're probably on most likely on a spiritual journey. So um, again, if you go within and you pray about it and you're very connected to the divine, you can see your messages come to you through signs and synchronicities through something you read in a book, something you read in a magazine or, you know, a license plate. There's ways that you can get the answers here, okay? Lean on your inner circle. You know who to go to. Be careful of the ones that are going to influence you, not in the best positive way, okay? Because there are people like that that want you to stay single with them, <laughs> that that are they're giving you advice from from selfishness, from envy, from jealousy, okay? So be conscious and aware of that. And yeah, we're not being fully honest here with ourselves regarding what we want for ourselves, okay? So you so again, be real. Be your be the real you here. That's really important. Okay, you're hiding behind a mask. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And you're being guided to just be the real you, be your authentic self, speak your truth. There's something you're not sharing and you're not telling that you might not even be honest with yourself about. And it's going to take courage and strength for you to reveal yourself, remove the mask and be honest with yourself and those in your life and those that you love. There's, a, there's some healing work that still needs to be done here, my loves. Okay, again, I have a meditations in the description box below and I have affirmations linked in the description. I'm sorry, on the community board. Work I've been doing even myself. So I'm, I'm recommending to you work, affirmations, meditations that I currently use, that I do also. Forgiveness is a long, takes a long time. So as long as you keep doing the forgiveness affirmations every single night, while you're in bed falling asleep it's going to really help you to clear away the blockages here and free you emotionally from this pain that you're carrying around beautiful message today for the 1111 portal uh, if this resonated if you like to claim this reading please like share and subscribe thank you so much libra i love you all god bless you and namaste i'll see you next time mm -hmm.